Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. Welcome to day number two of the Porsche Adventure trip. Once again, I'm joined with Kieran Adams, Hello. Archie Deves, and Arch Nemesis over here. And today, as I said, we are back at the Porto Ventura world, where yesterday we were just in the main Porto Ventura park, whereas today we've also got access to Ferrari Land, the brand new theme park with, you can kind of see it through the trees, Red Force, one of the biggest coasters in the world. Fourth biggest in the world, bro, that's big. That is mad. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be getting on that today. And we're also going to be heading on all of the rides that we didn't manage to do yesterday. The likes of Furious Baco, Hurricane Condor. Fly Passage clone. There's a flying theatre in Ferrari Land, which I'm very excited for. And of course, Red Force. Look at the size of that. Absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, bright and early this morning, we're heading in for a rope drop. So let's head down to the plaza and get in. Let's go. So we are now into Ferrari land and we've got like a little start line here boys. And we're sprinting to Red Force. This is how good the beat park is in the is. They want you to race. <laughs> do, 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 do. Come on. We got this. We got this. Come on, Come on, yeah. Yeah. Realistically boys, four of us, all these people, it's one of them. <laughs> I think we just do it. They can't we'll stop it. They can't stop us all. Let's go. No one wants it. No one wants smoke. No one wants smoke. Oh, where are we going? Nice work, boys. Oh, my God. Cheating spot. We made it. Front row too. Look at that front. <laughs> Get out, oh boys. <laughs> so we have just had a front ride on Red Force, the tallest coaster I have ever been on. Look at that absolute monster. Wow, what a coaster. Fam, just look how tall this is. It's like you're playing a game. That is insane, that honestly. Launch was insane. It lasts so long. So and we managed to get my the front. cheeks were just <laughs> literally my cheeks were touching my ears. <laughs> and we had to wear glasses because it's literally just that far. That was pain. Amazing ride. Oh, amazing, whoa. amazing. That was incredible. I got air time at the top. Yeah. yeah. Full lift off. It really feels like a Taran launch though. That launch <laughs> is super fast. Super so loud. My favourite LS7. Oh my god, that is a very fast launch. It's not like stealth where it's like an immediate launch, but it just it builds up pop. and it builds up and it's probably more by the end of it, your, your cheeks are just there. What an incredible coaster that is. I was wondering when we were going to stop speeding up, wow. but we just didn't stop. Yeah, legit. That run was very much worth it. Wow. We're slowly making our way around Ferrari land. We've obviously done front row Red Force. We've been on the little junior Red Force. And now we're heading on these beautiful shot towers 
Almost as a little warm up, boys, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Farrakhan gondola, yeah, so hopefully it won't be broken. Fingers crossed it's not falling. But we're down. jumping on these oh, bad boys. Yeah. Wouldn't it be such a shame <laughs> if gondola was broken? Huh? Alright, let's jump on these bad boys. I'm quite excited for these actually. So we've now wrapped up at Ferrari Land. We'll be heading back in there a bit later on to get back on Red Force and hopefully do the flying theatre in there. What do you think of the shot towers? Yeah. Uh, all right. It just, do you know what it is? It's just gearing us up for Hurricane Condor. <laughs> I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. We're back in the main Port Ventura Park now. Uh, I think we're going to try and head on Furious Baco, which we haven't yet done and apparently is very rough according to this kid here but yeah let's go let's go back into Port Ventura you right, Archie? I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm not even, I'm not even playing, I'm not even playing. I think it's top three. I hate this guy. This actually is a top ten puppet. Let's go, boys. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. So we've just had a ride on Furious Baco. Fantastic launch on that ride. Really, really like the launch, but it was rough. <laughs> I was out on the wing seat, and honestly, my whole body just shook the entire ride. These boys liked it though. Good reviews. One of my favourite rides. Good reviews. Great ride. It, bro, I'm, I'm not even saying this one to me. It actually wasn't rough. Like in my seat, where I was, and for my build, it wasn't rough. You like <laughs> today? I actually enjoyed my ride. Screw sat next but, to me. Realistically, it's a rough coaster. I packed parachute in nah. this. And it's a rough coaster. I warmed up this time before I went on. Yeah. And it's it was more right. rougher than So me. give it a few lunges and you're fine. Yeah. I was genuinely ready to like go along with the meme, say it was smooth and like all good, but honestly, that was rough. Welcome to the gift shop. No t shirts, just, just bottles of Just wine. wine. That's mad. Just some Vino, some Vino salt. Where else do you have a gift shop full of wine? <laughs> no merch. Wine. <laughs> Woo! Go on then. Fast. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Oh. <laughs> Look how small you are. Look how small you are. We laugh on the stop. Continuing with the theme of getting on everything that we missed on yesterday, we're now heading on to Tomahawk, which I believe is like a little junior wooden coaster. Oh, there she is. Come on, train. We have now completed all of the roller coasters here at Port Ventura. We did Tomahawk and that Stampeda oh, Blue no. right there. Oh, the, uh, Tomahawk was uh, yeah. very oh, tight, no. very small. Oh, oh no, that weird Santa's back over there, right in the distance. Um, yeah. And yeah, Stampeda Blue was actually really good to be fair. Like we did a front row, wasn't rough at all. I enjoyed that. Ooh. <laughs> um, boys. <laughs> boys. <laughs> I think you might have to head back. See you later, lads. Oh. 20 minute wait. Oh, oh let's go. go. I'm not even tall enough. I'm not. 
I mean, not tall enough. Oh, sh Three missions, 20 minutes. Let's go. Notice? Oh, you need me back now on the nearest flight home. Okay. It's time, guys. Actually, does just suck so much. Yeah. Attention, attraction close. It close on. We want shame. Kieran's on it. He's got. He will actually go on his own. Like this is the funny thing. Never have I been so scared for a ride. I'm not even joking. I'm not even doing this to the camera. I've been dreading this the whole two days of being here. Oh my god. Show them the burrow to prove it. We have done it. Oh my god, what are you saying? Underwhelming, I'll be honest. Detonator's got more force than that. It wasn't as bad as I thought, to be honest. The drop was bearable. Awful. We discussed it. Ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Worst minute of my life. Hated every second. <laughs> Still shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. My legs hurt. I can't walk properly. And that's that. Basically, my mad ride. Bad ride. Bad ride. I had to close my eyes on the way up. Once I was up there, open them. And the drop was alright. I'm just glad we've done it now. I, I could probably go on air again if I had to. Like, oh, let's go. I want to do stand up, bro. They're all too scared to do it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very happy I did it. I'm proud of myself. And now we're going to go and get some ET. So we've just had some uh, lunch in pit lane. Archie's had a bit more than just lunch. Oh, haven't you? Cheeky She's had bugger. one whole beer. <laughs> Uno cerveza. <laughs> and uh, as I said, he's not going on Red Force now because uh, he doesn't want to drink drive. Drink driving, mate. It can't <laughs> over be done. the limit. It can't be done. I'm over the limit. Back to the Should hotel. Have... Nah, but on a real, he and is yours? like crying that he's like now a wave. Yeah, he's a. After. He only got the beer for the flex. <laughs> yeah, he got two sips. Guys, I can't uh, dip him. Does anyone want? I was gonna get one myself, but then I went, nah, taste it. I do like it, but and it, no, it's like, it is refreshing. Does anyone want some? Listen, listen, listen. I just did hurricane. He's slurring his speech. <laughs> Don't come at that. I, got it. I just did hurricane condom, right? I deserve a beer. So I, I treat it condom. myself, and I'm absolutely fine. Just what do you mean you deserve it? You hated it. Oh my god, oh my god. We got a flash bomb. I was actually about to say let's shoot here. I'm joining in. So we just had another ride on Red Force back for this time. And wow, I can happily say as a number three coaster for me. Tres, senor. Has slid into my it's feet my for this year. Oh, oh, got some lovely architecture oh. here in Ferrari. Oh, blew it, blew it. <laughs> but now I think we are heading to the flying theatre, Flying Dreams. To, uh, Fly over. It's gonna be your number one. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Fly over just like a Ferrari factory, apparently. Oh, nice. So I've done two flying theatres before. I've done Flight of Passage and I've done Soaring. And obviously, there's one coming to Legoland soon. But yeah, let's let's see what this one's saying. Flying side is not. So after a little uh, ride on Flying Dreams, we then also had another ride on the beautiful Red Force. The flying Theatre was decent though, like um, one of the better ones I've done. Um, you just kind of went around the world as we said, kind of just following like different Ferrari cars that were driving. 
Um, and yeah, as I said, we then went on to Red Force. Interestingly, there's this awesome uh, like viewing area for Red Force. You can see right down the launch. Um, fun little fact, Stealth was originally going to have one of these viewing platforms, but it never ended up getting built. So that would have been sick to have one of these at four. Um, yeah, it's great. The coaster's lit to go far, so obviously if you don't want to ride, then you can sit up here and just watch your friends and family as they ride, but yeah, what an incredible coaster. So we are now back in Porto Ventura Park and we're just chilling here in Sesame Street and very good news for you guys. Do you want to tell them what so happened? Guys, um, I know for a while now, me and Grover have kind of been going at each other. Um, I've not been very nice to him. He's been very nice to me. <laughs> but I can now confirm, our beef is settled. And uh, a lot more happened than you in You are together. Future. You are together we're right together. there. We're friends. <laughs> we have settled our beef. It's all good now. Um, and The thing is, I was just in the toilet. He was in there as well, mate. Wasn't he? He did. He said you're a midget. <gasps> So here we go, we are once again going for a ride on Furious Baco. I said this is a big ride for me. I'm gonna go into it with an open mind, but if it is rough, and I will officially not be a fan of this coaster, but hopefully I'm gonna sit on the middle mid seat this time, not the wing seat, and hopefully it'll be better. I think this is my favourite station area queue line in the world. It is gorgeous. Really feels like a theme park worldwide. Planet coaster. Brilliant. Roller coaster. Oh, right, let's go and have a ride Walk on, on Furious Baco. Look at that. So as you probably saw, we had a back row ride on Furious Baco. I have to say, it wasn't as rough as my first ride. So, eh, I'm not a massive fan of a coaster, but it's not the roughest coaster in the world. I did the back right, as I was told to by fellow enthusiasts, and really wasn't that at all. I, I think it's a good ride, like, I'll do it again. Yeah, Arch Nemesis did not have a good ride. Boss, who lets that operate? Yeah. <laughs> who does that? It's disgusting. It's horrible. But right now we are heading for our final ride of the trip on the beautiful Shambhala. So we have just come off our last ride of the Port Aventura trip. If you watch the last Port Aventura day, you will know that we ended the day with our number one coaster experience ever. Somehow, it's only got to be As we were going up the lift hill, oh. these boys noticed. Man, fireworks were going Fire off. <laughs> fireworks. Looked and over. they were below us. Blow up. It was because it's the last day of the season here at Porto Ventura, there is obviously a fireworks show Over on the, the lake. lake. As we're going up the lift hill, they start, and for the entire amazing. ride, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. And as we go down, 
The sky is better. We played a video clip of Jack <laughs> seeing that firework for the first but time. The entire ride we were just so gassed and yeah, that is the number one coaster experience ever. Ever, ever, ever. Like, amazing. The timing you are close, on I that know you're close incredible. to saying something else. I think it, we are all it's very hard to, to stabilize it. <laughs> we are it could be a number one coaster, that's I don't know. It could be number three coaster for me, that's I've number had three now. Three incredible experiences. How could I not? Have Two of which reward? have been just incredible. It's like, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's very hard. Um, Either way, that ride so right sick. there. The chances of A being up there at that time and B, like, there's rarely fireworks at Port Aventura. It lit, today is literally the last day of the season, so that's insane. And the wow. fact that we had a god tier ride yesterday. Yeah, that two couldn't have been tier ride, but it was somehow. Wow. Wow, 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 what an incredible coaster. What an incredible ride. What an incredible park. What an incredible, yeah, Let's literally. give it a boys. Yeah, so everyone wants to type it off on Twitter. <laughs> I love oh this Oh my place. god. Yeah, that's your opinion. Fantastic, it's a good brilliant. That memory alone will last a lifetime. And now, we're just slowly gonna make our way to the exit of the park. But, this isn't the end, because we're gonna do a little merch. Oh, aren't we? No, it's not the end, because we're having oh. a book exchange. <laughs> So we have now left Port Aventura for the last time of this trip. Have you boys had a good time? Amazing, loved it. Highlight of the trip. It's got to be that last ride. Um, the fireworks were phenomenal. Obviously that's mine, but I'll say some of the stuff that happened outside <laughs> and the antics and just the funny stuff that's happened on this trip is like, I got, yeah, like you said, memories for a lifetime. Yeah. Uh, seeing your little cute face when the fireworks <laughs> going off on Shambhala, that was just beautiful, like that whole ride, uh, like you said, just some of the funny stuff was happened. Oh, okay, yeah, one thing. This Grover, yeah. I didn't know who Grover was before this, yeah. and now he's he's so relevant to me. <laughs> big, we could big. be setting up a boxing match. Yeah. <laughs> that ride on Shambhala with the fireworks is incredible. But as Kieran said, so many funny things have happened, even outside of the parks, just like wandering the streets of Salu, which we've done every night that we're here. It's been a right laugh, and yeah, it's been an absolutely brilliant trip, and I'm sure there'll be many more to come in the future. So be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed our videos from this trip and these guys have all been putting out content as well music video coming soon yeah, yeah. me and the boys yeah. in sunny salute ain't funny my dude stop laughing <laughs> i've been in the vineyard stepping on grapes since living nightmare was cabin thank you all very very much for watching my name is jack silkstone good Feeling that you never proved me back, you never did jack, hold that. I think I'm way, but I'm definitely not sure. I'm never washed up, I know I got more. Painting pictures with words, top draw, trying to find the middle ground is a lost cause. She said she wanna take me to the vineyard. She wanna take me to the vineyard. She said she wanna take me to the vineyard.